Now we'll cover the Spark MLib module for machine learning. There is a multitude of machine learning use cases. In healthcare, there could be predictive diagnosis. In financial services, it could be fraud detection and prevention. In retail, product recommendation. Oil and gas, predictive maintenance. And many others, whether it's public sector, telco, mobile, and many other verticals. Here's a sample of machine learning algorithms that you can start with depending on what you're trying to achieve. For example, classification, or identifying to which of a set of categories a new observation belongs to. You have several options. Logistic regression, support vector machines, by some claim to be the most powerful algorithms, random forest and naive Bayes, regression for estimating relationships among variables. For example, how does a square footage relate to a price of house, given that the other variables are fixed? Here, a popular uh, method is linear regression. Collaborative filtering, a technique for recommender systems. Here, think of Amazon for product recommendation given what you've bought in the past, or Netflix for movie recommendation based on what you've seen in the past and other similar users uh, liked as well. And a popular way uh, to do so is to use alternating least squares. Clustering or grouping a set of objects such that the objects in the same group are more similar. And it's useful for finding new patterns and discovering outliers once the clusters have been formed. A uh, popular approach is to use k-means or uh, latent inertia allocation or LDA. And finally, dimensional reduction is popular for noise reduction and uh, removing redundant variables, for example, among linearly dependent variables. And one popular method is to use principal component analysis or PCA. And of course, we'll cover these in detail in our data science crash course. So what is a machine learning model? It's a mathematical formula with a number of parameters that need to be learned from data. Fitting a model to data is a process known as model training. Take linear regression, for example, with the goal to fit a line y equals mx plus c to a sample of data points. For example, these highlighted green points over here and we want to determine what is the best fit of a line. So after model training, we get y equals 2x plus 5, with 2 being our coefficient and 5 being our intercept. And now say we have uh, a set of inputs and we want to predict the outputs. So once we export our model somewhere and say we have a set of incoming inputs, 1, negative 2, 0, 3, five and so forth. We want to determine what the output is and our model is 2x plus 5. So say we substitute 1 for x, we're going to have 2 plus 5 which is 7 and if we continue on we're going to have 1, 5, 11, 15 and so forth. Let's go over another example, this time with some sample code. Let's say you have a scattered data data frame that has already been pre-initialized with the following labels and features, which can be visualized on this x and y axis. Once we initialize our model, we can apply a fit function on our scattered data data frame to get the model results with the following coefficient and intercept, which then can be visualized as a line among our data points. If we have two features with our points visualized in this 3D space, after the model training, we would get the following coefficients and intercept, which then could be visualized as a plane in that space. An important concept in the Spark MLib module is the Spark Machine Learning Pipeline, which enables a user to specify a sequence of steps that need to take place before a machine learning algorithm is applied. Let's say we have our input data frame that's used for training our model that's pushed to a pipeline in which several sequential steps take place which manipulate the data. Feature transformation 1, feature transformation 2, combination of features before finally a linear regression algorithm is applied. Once the model is trained and we export the model, we can use it to predict our data using another input data frame that contains the incoming data to finally have an output data frame that contains the results or the prediction of our model. 
The core methods in the Spark MLib module are FIT, which is used for training, and TRANSFORM, which is used for prediction. Once I specify my pipeline with the different sequential steps to manipulate the data and apply my chosen machine learning algorithm, I would use FIT to create the model. When ready, I would use TRANSFORM to make the predictions on the input data. Let's go over a slightly more complicated Spark Machine Learning Pipeline Python code example. Here I have different data transformation steps that will need to take place. Next, I will specify a random forest classifier that I will use for my model training with an external parameter, what's called a hyperparameter, of 100 trees. Then I will specify a pipeline with multiple stages and they have to take place sequentially. So first I'll have my indexer, my parser, hashing transformer, vector assembler, and finally my random force classifier. Then I will use my pipe to apply the fit method on my training data to get the model. With this model, I can then apply the transform method on a test data, which is generally about 30 to 40% of the entire data set that was in use for training to get the results. With the results, I can then evaluate the model accuracy. Finally, once you've trained a model, you may want to share it with others. One way to do it is to export it and use the Predictive Model Markup Language, or PMML. Some of the supported models that I've mentioned previously are k-means, linear regression, and SVM.